So in this Lutheran tradition, which we are so oriented around God's grace, and that we understand there is nothing that we can do to earn God's love, to earn our salvation. There's nothing that we can do to make God love us any more or any less. Then what do we do with ourselves? If we're not out trying to do good works to earn God's love, what do we do? What is kind of a, a Lutheran ethic of life? Um, one way to think about this is to come back to Jesus's command to love our neighbors uh, and love our neighbors as ourselves. And so a Lutheran looks around and says, I've been given this great gift of love. I have been set free in God, in God to know peace, love, hope, and joy. I have been justified by God, uh, with God, you know, by grace, through faith. Uh, I've been given all of these gifts, these gifts in my life I suddenly recognize are not just created by me or earned by me, but everything is a gift from God. And if I've been given such goodness in my life, then I am compelled out of gratitude in response to God's love to share God's love with others and to help and serve others. And so we look to see who, or, who are our neighbors. And um, broadly defined, our neighbors can be the people that live with us in our house. Um, our neighbors can be our literal neighbors um, down the street. They can be uh, people in our community, in our country, and around the world. And so if we have been set free in God to live and love and serve, we can look to the needs of our neighbors and reach out to our neighbors to try to pass on the, the goodness that we ourselves have received. So who's your neighbor? Is it the person in the next cubicle? Is it the person sleeping in bed next to you at night? Is it somebody in your class? Is it um, somebody that you know, an old friend? Whoever these people are, whoever your neighbor is, that is who we are called to love and gift with the same kind of goodness and richness and generosity that we ourselves have been given.